Welcome to the show. My name is Domingo and today we're going to be showing you how to log your calories using the Fitbit application. Now this is the application on the PC but you can also do this on your iPhone or Android smartphone. So the setup that you see here is very similar to what you see on the app but the layout does not necessarily look like this. It usually has everything that when you scroll it down in your smartphone app this shows but with the desktop it allows you to see everything in full view. So so I've logged in a few calories already so let's just show you how to add your calories so you either press or click on the add calories button and then it shows you your calories in versus your calories out and then it automatically shows your macronutrients in the statistics so to log a food what you do is you press the quick calories at well you can go and press the one two three button to quickly add calories so let's see you had about 3,000 calories, but that's basically a day's worth of food all in one. So if you're not sure of the calories or if you know the calories in the food that you ate, that is what you add. So I had a granola bar recently, let's say. So that's about 90 calories. And then you select the meal that you want to add it with, and then you press the check mark down below. This is the same as it is on the smartphone app. So you can close that. So what I just recently had as well was a pasta dish so what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the plus button here and then we're gonna search for the food so you go and press on the search button and then it will say pasta let's say pasta and then what it would say here is that it will say um, pasta with meat sauce so let's say we had pasta with meat sauce 329 calories and it'll just allow us to search for it and there we go it'll give us a serving size with the calories and we're gonna go put it in dinner and then you can also see nutrition facts here so it has all these statistics right here so you don't have to worry about figuring out what's high in polyunsaturated fats and all that stuff that is already in the screen so you don't have to worry about it at all that is it that is how you do it and when you want to add it press on the check mark there we go and it adds it in there so it shows the gray area shows calories in calories out and if it's in the blue that means you're under if it's green it's in the zone and if it's red you're over your calorie count so I burned a lot of calories today so I'm pretty much under and that is how you add calories and you can also do a voice search or on the smartphone app that you can add a barcode and it shows everything here on the screen to the meals that you added so that in a sense is how you add calories and if your food item is not listed in the Fitbit app then you can just create a new entry so that it allows you to enter that if it's like the same meal that you eat every day so that is how you add calories to your Fitbit app and like I said it already has the macronutrients in here and if you want to learn more you can click on learn more and then it gives you a window that shows you what the macros are so yeah that is how you do it so Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day. And remember, domination is near. We'll see you soon.